Okay everyone, welcome to my first haul video and I'm going to start this as a series called Why I Don't Have Any Money This Month, aka what I spent my money on. So if you're interested in what I've got, keep on watching. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is more fitness related. So since I've been back at home from school for the summer, I've been trying to lose a little bit of weight and more so put on muscle mass. And in order to do that, I have picked up a few goodies. So one of the first things that I felt like I needed to start dabbling in was protein. And I was recommended the PE Science Select Protein and I got it in chocolate and peanut butter cup because that just sounds good. This was $40 from Amazon and I didn't really see an importance in this until I actually tried it because after my workout I was not sore, I felt really good and I had energy throughout my workout to actually get everything done and be happy about being there. But I've also added on to my, I got this from Amazon by the way and also in my order I picked up creatine powder which helps you to put on the muscle mass whereas this gives you the power and helps you not be sore afterwards um the thing with this is i have to drink like a gallon of water throughout the day and that's just for like safety purposes um i always mix these up in a blender bottle which i got from tj maxx it was like seven dollars from tj maxx where these are like probably 12 online but there's like a, ugh, <laughs> there's this ball inside of it that mixes up your protein powder with water or you can use soy milk or anything, but it has changed my workout for the better, whatever it does. <laughs> okay, also in the realm of gym and fitness, I have some clothes that I've gotten throughout the month and my first couple items are from Old Navy. Um, the first pair is these cute little capri high-waisted leggings. They have a really cute app like cut out here in them and I really enjoy them. I got them in a size large and I think they were probably like $11. I don't have the receipts. Next time I'll try to do that but I recently went online and they're still on there and if you catch Old Navy right there's always coupon codes and promo codes. Also they typically have a sale throughout the month where you can catch these items also for cheap. Um, I got this shirt as well from Old Navy. It's just a cute little tank top and I feel like since it's summer it goes really well with my skin tone. I think it was also probably no more than 10 or 11 dollars. I also got another pair of leggings which are this kind of stripey material and they're just high-waisted long leggings. They might have been a little more than the gray ones but still I prefer to wear my leggings high-waisted because first of all they push down all your fat and stuff and then they're also really good for when you're lifting they don't slide down and I find that Old Navy has really really great leggings. The final article from Old Navy is this shirt. It is just a black shirt but then in the back I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of cut low in the back. Um, I've worn it a couple times lifting and it can be kind of annoying but what I'm really excited about this shirt for is when I go back to school, There's um, they teach cardio dance classes like once a week. And I think it would be so cute to wear. Um, like I said, none of these items were over $15. And I just really like active wear since I've been back into working out. Um, the next two things I got are from Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, I pretty much never wear a real bra. And all my old sports, like the very good ones, not like the Walmart kind, are probably at least four, three or four years old from when I was playing sports in high school. So I finally broke down and bought myself a Nike sports bra. It was $30, but I really needed it. Um, I also got two pairs of shorts. The other ones I've already worn. They're in the dirty clothes, and but they're just black versions of these. And they're just Nike running shorts. I wear these with huge t-shirts like every other girl, but you know, 
<laughs> I'm basic, I know. And I think both pairs of these ended up being around $50, which is pretty good, being that the retail price on it is $30, so I saved me a little bit of money. Um, the last thing from Dix is this black workout tank top that I got. And if you can tell on the back, it has this band and it says Nike. And I really like this shirt. Like, you can catch me when I start going out again at school. You will catch me wearing this shirt going out. Like, with a sweater or something. I will, I will rock this shirt as a real shirt, not just a workout shirt. But, um, it was $30, I believe. And that was on sale because it is, I believe, like, the Nike Pro from the Nike Pro line, so it is more expensive, but it was on sale and originally it was 50. So I think it's worth it because I'm going to use it daytime and nighttime. I don't give a crap if it's athletic wear or not, so oh well. Okay, the next items are not really things that I bought from stores. It's more so things that I've picked up from the thrift store and from yard sales throughout the week. Um, if you don't yard sale, what are you doing? Um, I hit up this one yard sale this um, past month, and I got not one, not two, not three, not four, or five. I believe it was like around five or six Nike or Under Armour just workout t-shirts. And I paid a dollar each for these. They're practically brand new. So I have a multiple of these already. And I, I know I paid $30 for each one of them. But, you know, a dollar a piece, I can, I can wear them whenever. So they're going to come in handy just for running around in. I also got this workout jacket. It's Champion from, I believe... Target maybe it might be the Target line I'm not exactly sure but it was also a dollar as well and I got three pairs of Nike Pros they are the Capri version so but I do not care like I paid two dollars each for the Pros I got them in gray purple and then this cheetah print color and like I said I've worn this pair to the gym so far and I find them to be comfortable and I'm also a size large in them. Um, also at that same yard sale I managed to find two jackets and t-shirt. The first t-shirt is this Budweiser t-shirt that I'll probably just cut up and mess around in. It's not really something I would just wear. Maybe like with jeans and like some sneakers and wear it to like a fraternity party. Like it's nothing that big of a deal. I also got this Eddie Bauer jacket and I know for a fact these run to be 40 or $50 and it's super thick and I'm excited to wear that this winter. I also got this Ann Taylor Loft huge like chunky vest and I believe the tags are still on it and it said it was like $60 originally. And but it's super big and it looks like a house coat and I just can't wait to like lounge around and wear it. Um, the next couple items are from another yard sale I went to, and I picked up an American Eagle sweater that's like this, just a little basic sweater, and then this baseball t-shirt that is like this, and I got this dress, which I'm not that big of a fan of once I tried it on, but still, I mean... I paid not that much money for it, so it's a win-win. Anyways, so this is the dress. It's just a shift dress and has this kind of detailing on the bottom. Just kind of not really me anymore. But, uh, yeah. And then from the thrift store, I got a bunch of NC State, which is the college I go to. I got a bunch of t-shirts from there. And most likely what I'll do with them is cut them up and turn them into shirts that I can tailgate with throughout the year. Um, then, <laughs> this is what I got from just a thrift store uh, in somewhere. I got this American De American Eagle denim mini skirt. It looks kind of crazy. Hold on. It's obviously an older style, but it was only $3, I believe. So, yeah. And I also got this J. Crew paper bag skirt for $7. See? 
super cute. Um, the last thing I got was this Vera Bradley bag, which I currently have packed because I'm about to leave and go to Raleigh because I have an interview this weekend. But that's it. Um, I also picked up these shoes that I got from Amazon and they were $20 and they're just simple little wedges. I think they'll be cute with jeans or something, but I really plan on wearing them for my sorority's recruitment in, coming up in the next couple weeks. So I'll keep you posted on how I style those. Okay, everyone. And that's the end of my haul video. If you really enjoyed this and you liked my style and what I picked up, please let me know and like and subscribe because I'm a single mother. Support my son. Peace and blessings.